This is the Iowa Weather Report for Monday, January the 7th, 2013. Now, our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have a upper level feature over the desert southwest and a quick flow moving across the U.S. Canadian border, but that's not going to bother us much. Around here, we're just going to see some warm temperatures with some southerly and southwesterly winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour and highs today in the 30s to even some low 40s across the southern counties of the state. Heading into Tuesday, we have a small disturbance off to our north and west that could bring a few more clouds in that direction. And we have our storm over Texas and into northern Mexico, and that'll be coming our way later in the week. And that moves slowly northward here Wednesday. Highs on Tuesday, by the way, will be in the 30s to low 40s. Wednesday, about the same 30s to low 40s with plenty of sunshine. But Thursday, we start to see an increase in the clouds. Now, the GFS is a bit faster. The Euro is a slight, slight bit slower. So we'll either see increased clouds with some rain Thursday or increased cloudiness and rain Friday, which the GFS here has dry and still fairly warm with highs around uh, 30, 35 degrees. But here comes the next storm over Colorado, and we have to watch that one because here on Saturday... We see the low pressure in central Missouri, the cold air diving south, way to the south. So some rain, snow breaks out in the plains, and that low races northeastward. So we could see a quick swath of snow over the state Saturday night into Sunday. Then we have another low developing further to the south and east over the deep south. And a week from today, next Monday, you can see there's the trough digging across the the, the plains and the Rockies, ridge pumping up over the eastern Pacific, which is allowing all the cold air straight southward. And you can see that new, next storm will move more south and east of the state, but the cold air is not going to move away. It's going to stay around probably for a couple of days. And we head further into the month on the 18th or so. We have... Uh, that trough beginning to lift out actually by that point the ridge begins to flatten out and move eastward but unfortunately the cold air is still entrenched although the winds will be starting to switch around to the south but that might only bring temperatures up into the upper 20s if this is right so not very much warmer and at the end of the forecast on the 22nd we have pretty much a wavy pattern not really highly amplified as you saw earlier polar vortex over eastern Canada few things off to our west and high pressure nearby but the thickness lines a lot higher so temperatures will be closer to seasonal averages in the 20s to maybe around 30 or so last night's satellite image showed there's that storm over the desert southwest a little bit of a swirl down there a few high mid-level clouds off to the north and west of the state and over the south and east as well otherwise it's fairly quiet the watch warning map from last evening. Some wind chill advisories in northern Maine, a winter storm watch in southeastern Arizona, some winter weather issues in the northwest, and other than that, it's fairly quiet across the country at this time. The QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Friday evening at 6 o'clock, showing most of the heaviest precipitation over the south, Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas, where 2 to 4 inches of rain is possible, and also over the Pacific Northwest.